Well, hello and welcome to this tutorial series on Anime Studio Pro 10 by Infinite Skills. I'm Mark Bremer and will be guiding you through this series. Now, what do we cover here with this fantastic program? Well, this movie will review what we cover in the program on a top level and tell you a little bit about myself. Specifically with the program, we do obviously go over here's how you draw with the program, here's how you create layers. Hey, it's a tutorial series, what do you expect? But more important than that, we go ahead and cover the whys. We'll culminate the entire tutorial series with a very special project, and it's one that I named Vexed with Vinny, which is a little segment out of a broader animation that we could work on. We've got a lot of stuff going on in this one, and it allows us to integrate all the tool sets into a segment that we would be using in a broader animation. So we work with imported backgrounds, layered backgrounds, Photoshop files. We're doing some special effects. We've got multiple animated characters, cyclical animation, Sounds really sophisticated, and we also bring in things like depth of field, camera moves through a scene, to better tell a story. My interest is that when you're done with this series, you can go ahead and start successfully telling stories, either professionally or just for fun on your own. Now, to do that, we don't just jump into the program and start drawing stuff, at least on this special project. What I like to do is just make sure we kind of uh, future prevent things from going wrong. And the best way to do that is to spend just a few minutes sketching things out. Decide what goes into a scene, decide how we're going to build the scene, and go from there and work with it. So we create a couple elements and work with it that way. We also work with something called a storyboard. If you're new to animation, this is just a quick thumbnail sketch to help you set in your mind where things are going to be on screen, how the camera is going to move through it, and how you can better tell your story really fast way to work. And then also, before we get into the character development, we do a little bit of style board work. Now, you don't have to be a great artist to do this. Anime fills in a bunch of holes in terms of experience that you might have in drawing. But doing some quick thumbnails like this helps you look at characters and decide, okay, I've got a character in three-quarter view. How do I build it so that I can not only use it this time, but reuse it later on and change things easily if I need to? I like to cover all that material because, well, it's simply real-world stuff. We go ahead and build out a character, and we do it as such so we can actually import him over and over into other animations that we may work on. We do build everything with the character with style, so if we need to make his suit look dirty or change the color, I can do it with a couple mouse clicks, and that's what this is about. Successfully creating scenes and items that you can work with and reuse over and over real easily. We also look at some of the fantastic tools that are built into Anime Studio Pro, like how to create reusable animations. Whether it's cyclical, something that repeats, whether we create expressions that we can control with dials and reuse over and over and over again. And finally, when we're working on the scene, there's a lot of special effects that go on that I speak to to help facilitate telling a story. In this case, it's kind of a divey little room that we've got going on. And we could draw the room in anime, but there's reasons I didn't here. It's to imitate an animation style created in the 1940s and 50s, where there's detailed backgrounds with stylized animation going on in front. But I want people to know that there's a neon sign outside the window. I also want them to know that there's a television set blaring on the left off the screen, and so we create blue flickering light. All sorts of things like that, so that when it all comes together, we see things working successfully. An integration of drawn content inside anime, along with imported content that we can work with. So what else do we cover? Well, I'm really interested beyond the basics of how you work with the tools to look at ways that we can make them work together. Anime does a bunch of cool stuff, and we cover things like how to do exploratory masking, hide things and reveal things in a scene, really important with the characters, drawing in 3D to save yourself time later on. We do cover rigging and constraints, things like that you'd expect, but rigging and best methods for different types of characters, different positions of characters, so you know how to work with them. There's physics in anime, so you can automate a lot of things, including lip syncing. Great time savers. We talk about making walk cycles, and we do things like setting stuff on fire with particle generators, importing 3D content to create complicated scenes creating sophisticated shadows, duplicating files, zombie apocalypse things with particle generators. And we can also do things like motion tracking with live video to put in and blend animated content into those scenes. Pretty cool stuff. I myself, Mark Bremer, well, I've been doing this for some time. I continue to work in it professionally and love it, except for some of the deadlines. I'm engaged in many professional organizations, and you may have been reading my work if you subscribe to certain magazines. 
And I've worked with animation teams that work for clients like this. Maybe you've heard of a few. So there's really just a ton to cover. While I mentioned some of the highlights, we cover a lot more than that. It's a pro-grade product. You'll be able to walk away from here even if you're a beginner using it very successfully. Just love working with Anime Studio Pro, and I think you will too.